Hello everyone. As we know, there are a number of databases in bioinformatics like primary, secondary databases, specially protein for structured databases like 3D structured databases. Like this, there is another database that is BioGrid database. BioGrid database is nothing but the biological general repository for interaction data sets. And we can say it is a public database that achieve and disseminate genetic and protein interaction data from model organisms. This uh, database is published in 2003. So BioGrid to open this database. This is a URL of BioGrid. Click on that. BioGrid database of protein. This is the home page of BioGrid database. Here we can see these are the different partners which are working with BioGrid. Then the latest news that are the versions of BioGrid and the updated latest version is 3.5.182. This is updated latest version. Before going to start how to use the BioGrid for interactions of proteins or genes, we get some information. In tools, it contains online tools and resources for partner resources, visualization, data management, and many more. If we click on contribute, in contribute, we can send or publish data and also can join curation team. Also, we can link to the result page of BioGrid link and alerts and many more it is the information how to contribute in BioGrid then in stats stats means it's uh, nothing but the statistical information or data of the latest experiments in BioGrid like the physical and genetic interaction statistics, the name of organism, experimental type, whether it is physical, genetic or combined. Then number of raw interactions, unique genes and unique publications and many more. This data is, we can see, this data is updated in March 2020 in the version of 3.5.182. This is the statistical data which gives the latest updated information saved in BioGrid. Then, in downloads, we can download the most recent up-to-date information, currently released information in BioGrid, then previous released information of older version of BioGrid. Here we can download the different files. and the partners partners when you click on partners you can see which databases are working with biogrid like funding partners facility partners and the most important are the model organism databases partners here we can see the databases like flybase affid base made gdb especially vector base and many more in cbi these are working and gives the information of model organisms. Then interaction database partners, also annotation database partners, tool partners, then some softwares and library partners which are working with BioGrid database and which gives the information to BioGrid. In About Us, this is the short summary which gives the information of BioGrid software. Let's start with an example how to use the biogrid. We can find the result by identifier or publications. Here we can see one option that is all organisms. It includes the number of name of organisms, popular organisms like uh, Arabidopsis, Saccharomyces, some bacterial name like E. coli, then Homo sapiens and many more for specification of our result. 
we'll start with an example like dfr1 dfr1 is nothing but the dihydrofolate reductase which is protein coding genes then click on submit identifier search you get some results like uh, we, uh, we can see these are the nine results which show the interaction with dfr1 click on anyone okay this gives the result summary here we can see the particular source organism that is saccharomyces cerevisiae in which this dfr1 is present then here we can see the statistical current statistical data how many physical and genetic interactions are observed in dfr1 then interactors there are number number about 468 interactors like uh, tim 23 ubr1 these are the cores of particular protein name and here on we can see the function of that particular gene or query then we can download the published interactions of this protein if we click on interactions there are near about 493 interactions these interactions are here we can see the many interactors then role then organisms particular saccharomyces cerevisiae then data sets and the main part or introductory part here we can also search the notes like what's its uh, functioning additional notes the ontology terms scores and many more here we can see the number of interactors are present the, to see the interactions of the query with another interactors click on network once you click on network you get the total interactor nodes and total interactions ages number of that particular then query note it's our one that is dfr1 then same organism nodes how many here we can see the number of of that particular nodes then this is the result here is a dfr1 is our query and these all are interactors of that particular query to see the color indication of particular line and shape click on help and graph legends it gives the information of color like uh, query gene is encoded in brown color green line indicates genetic evidences yellow line like physical evidences blue lines like chemical association and uh, the same organism gene from same organism is indicated in blue like this these are the from same organisms then this result can be minimized zoom in and zoom out the size can be reduced like this then we can also change the direction we can move this data like this we can export this file in png format also then we can filter the data like we can hide a physical experiments here we show we have hidden hidden the physical experiments then show physical experiments also for more quality results or more accurate interactions we can change the evidences for minimize or maximize like this if we increase the evidences some queries are removed here again like this so more accurate interactions can be observed by change the evidences then layout can be changed like this is a concentric layout if we click on single circle we observe that this is our query and these all are 
our interactors observed in a single circle with the different evidences layouts then in grid format also in arbor format like this this is a arbor format of our result again go through for concentric circles this is result now if you want to get some information click on write it gives show neighbors you can remove node you can observe no details and display node if you click on show neighbors you can find dfr1 and this another interactor are the neighbors of the particular query we show the neighboring nodes again if you click on node details you get some association details of genetic and synthetic lethality like this information you get some information experimental evidence scores if you want to change the query you can change it click on write then on display network here the query is changed now you can observe this is a query new query and these all are the interactors of that particular query these all are the nodes of uh, same association like this green purple colors means physical chemical interactions also yellow lines are observed here also you can change this query also like this here you can download the interactions here you observe there are near about 146 nodes from the same organism So by using this biogrid database, you can observe the different interactions of uh, either same organism or different organism with the uh, physical, chemical or genetic experiments. So, okay. Again, you can minimize or maximize, zoom in and zoom out result, you can save. So, this is a short introductory part of BioGrid database, how to use to identify the interactions of different proteins or genes. Thank you.